All right, with the first day of Greninja Raids officially coming to a close, and the second day at this point, uh, we've learned a couple things. Mainly that every build that we had prepared for this, that everybody's been making, is absolute garbage. Uh, Lucario just gets absolutely destroyed. Tinkaton, same thing. The worst defender of them all, though, is Garchomp, who just gets o code is just complete dog water and is terrible. Uh, however, there has been a saving grace, and that has been the king, Slowbro, for the second seven star raid in a row, coming in clutch. So today I wanna show you guys how to build a Slowbro that will absolutely dominate this raid and make things as easy as possible so that you're basically guaranteed to win every single time that you go into a raid. So let's take a look at how the slow bro works and I'll walk you guys through this step by step. All right, so if you're going to build a slow bro, obviously you need to catch a slow bro first. Uh, easiest way to do that is going to be to fly over to the Kase Royal Lake area. Uh, and you can find slow bros all over the place around here, but if you go to the islets in the middle, they are much more prominent. Now, if you have not caught one already, if you've not caught him already uh, over on the west side of the island uh, out in the water you will find a grass terra type slow bro that is already level 55 and has decent IVs already it'll make your life a lot easier but if you don't have one of those uh, you can just go straight out into the water and I guarantee you it'll take you about 60 seconds and you will find yourself a slow bro sitting out somewhere and of course, if you can't find yourself a slow bro sitting in the water anywhere, uh, they also do appear on the land as well. So once you get to this point, uh, you need to encounter your slow bro. And the first step to this process is obviously catching him. So we're gonna throw a quick ball. Boom, it's gonna crit capture him because we've caught him several times before. And just like that, you got yourself a slow bro and you're ready to go. Just make sure and add him to your party and then we're gonna move on. So, after you've caught yourself a slow bro, the next thing you're going to want to do is prepare yourself for your EV and IV training and leveling. Uh, you can do this anywhere, but I like to go to Lavincia, uh, just because it's got a chancy supply that's right by the Pokemon Center, and I always remember where it is. Now, you can do this a whole bunch of different ways. You can use vitamins, you can use power bands and defeat Pokemon, or you can go out and you can use feathers and do this. I'm going to use vitamins just because it's easier and it takes me less time. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do, though, is our Slowbro is currently level 52. So we're going to go into our bag. We're going to use the ridiculous amount of candies uh, that we have left over from previous raids. Just like so. And we're going to make our Slowbro level 100. Just like that. And now we're ready to head down to Chansey Supply. And we're ready to get our vitamins to get our EVs where we want them to be. And you're gonna head in and get ready to buy your vitamins if this is the route that you decide that you want to go uh, which is the way that I'm gonna do this so for our slow bro we want to make sure that we have max EVs in HP which means we're gonna need HP up uh, we're gonna do a bulk buy for this and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna buy 26 of these uh, that'll put us a little over 252 but it's okay uh, so once we get these, we're going to get that. We also need to have max EVs in special attack, which means we're going to need another 26 calcium as well. So we're going to go down here and we're going to do this. Boom. And we also want to make sure while we're doing this that we dump four EVs into slow bro speed, uh, which means that we're going to need carbos. So in order to do that, we're just going to buy one carbos. That's it. And if you look at this, doing vitamins uh, only is going to cost you about $530,000 which is a steep price, but it saves you a lot of time having to train if you're at a point where uh, you need this quick. So we're gonna buy all these and then uh, it's time to go. So once you've exited Chansey Supply, the next thing is uh, it's time to do all of our EV training and everything. Uh, so the next thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna hop into your bag and it's time to get to work with our EVs. But before we do anything, we're gonna go down and we're gonna set Slowbro's nature. Uh, for this one, we're going to set Slowbro up with a modest nature, so you're going to want to use a modest mint, use it, and uh, make sure that this changes it. It's going to affect his stats. Do you want to use it? Absolutely we do. Okay, so we're going to make sure that he has a modest nature, and then we're going to come back up and we're going to use all of those vitamins that we just bought. So we're going to use our HP ups, we're going to use this on him, we're going to use all 26, just like so. We're going to use our calcium, we have 26 of these. 
So we're gonna come here, we're gonna use 26 of these, just like so. And then for our Carbos, we only need four EVs in his speed, so we're only gonna use one Carbos. Oh, and just like that, your EVs are done and they're ready to go. And while you're here, you can also check your slow bro's nature, or not nature, his ability as well. So you can see that my slow bro has the ability Oblivious, uh, which is fine. We can keep it as Oblivious for this raid. Or if you want to change it up uh, to his other ability, you can do that as well. For this one, it doesn't really matter a whole lot. And after that, you're done with EV training and ability stuff and natures, and you're ready to go IV train. So for IV training, as always, we're going to go to everybody's favorite spot. We're going to go to Monteverna. And once we get to Monteverna, uh, we're going to come up here. And we're going to go find our sketchy friend behind the Pokemon Center. And we're going to IV train the crap out of our Slowbro. So we're going to come back here. We're going to talk to this guy. Yep, we're going to hyper train. Boom. We're going to hyper train our Slowbro, just like so. Uh, we're going to use normal bottle caps because gold bottle caps are hard to come by. Uh, and we want to train everything except his physical attack on this one. We don't want to special or er, IV train his special attack. So we do that. Hyper training goes through. Just like so. It became stronger. We don't need to continue. And once we're done with that, we're already ready for the moveset. Okay, so looking at Slowbro's moveset, we have four very specific moves that we need here. And unfortunately, he only has one move that he can learn naturally. Okay, so we are going to replace Heal Pulse with the move Slack Off, which is the only move that, um, which is the only move that Slowbro can learn naturally. Everything else, we have to learn via TM, okay? So, once we get these, uh, it is time to go get some TMs for everything else that we're gonna need. We need three very specific TMs here, okay? Uh, the first of which is going to be Iron Defense, uh, which we're gonna find under the Steel type. We're gonna find Iron Defense. Uh, we're gonna craft Iron Defense, just like so. Very nice. And then after we do that, uh, we're gonna teach Iron Defense to our Slowbro. And it doesn't matter what move you replace, we're gonna put it in this first spot right up here. Boom. Slowbro forgot Psychic, and it learned Iron Defense. Excellent. Uh, after Iron Defense, we need to learn the move Stored Power, which means we need to go back to the Psychic section, and we need to find... Uh, stored power. Boom. So we're gonna find stored power. It is number 41 in here. We're gonna craft one of these. Just like so. Yep. Uh, and then we're gonna teach stored power to our slow bro. Now we're gonna make sure that stored power is the third move down. So in our case, we're replacing rain dance with stored power. Just like so. So the last move that you're gonna make uh, is you wanna make nasty plot which you can find under the dark type section. Uh, it is number 140, and you're just gonna craft one of these, just like so. Boom, and you're gonna teach Nasty Plot to your slow bro, and it is going to be the second move in his arsenal. To Tada, and he learned Nasty Plot. And just like that, you are officially good to go with your moveset. So once you're all done, uh, your moveset should look something just like this. Uh, you should have Iron Defense, Nasty Plot, Stored Power, and Slack Off. And the basic strategy for this one's pretty simple. You're gonna use Iron Defense three times, Nasty Plot three times to max out both your attack and defense stats. And then you're gonna use Stored Power and just pummel Greninja into the ground, which is exactly what we're gonna go do right now. But before we do that, let's take a look at our slow bro so we can make sure we have everything exactly the way that we want it to. So we have our slow bro. He is level 100. He has a psychic terror type. Uh, his move set is iron defense, nasty plot, stored power, and slack off. He has max EVs in HP, special attack, and four EVs in his speed. Uh, he has a modest nature, not a gentle nature, as it says right here. And it has the ability Oblivious. The only thing that we don't have is our held item. Uh, and for our held item, we want to use the life orb. And you can find the life orb on the map. But odds are, 
Uh, if you have beaten the game, you probably have the life orb already and it's sitting in your bag or it's attached to a Pokemon already. Yeah. Just like I have my life orb sitting right here. So once you find your life orb, uh, you're gonna give that to your Slowbro. Boom, just like so. Uh, and if you don't have a life orb, the Shell Bell would also be another good item that you could use or possibly the Leftovers, although Leftovers does come with the chance to uh, run down the timer a little bit with its animation. So use that at your own risk. But once you have all of that set up, you have your held item, you've checked and made sure everything is set up the way it is, it's time to go find your Greninja Raid and pummel him into the ground. All right, so uh, as soon as you get into a raid, the very first thing you're gonna wanna do if you're um, online is somebody is gonna need to use a defense cheer because Greninja is incredibly fast and will wipe out all of your buffs incredibly quickly, okay? And I mean, incredibly quickly. Uh, so somebody's gonna use a defense tier, but the basic strat for this is you're gonna use iron defense, just like that. You're gonna use iron defense three times, nasty plot three times, and then spam stored power, and absolutely wreck his world, okay? Just like so, so we're gonna use one, two, and I'll tell you right now, you will not get off three of everything before Greninja wipes you. Greninja will remove effects long before you get the chance to do anything. I mean long before. All right. It's always nice to have support as well. So like I just got all three iron defenses. We have a psychic terrain, which is absolutely fantastic. And you're gonna see that Greninja's gonna nullify everything. Don't be surprised by that, it's gonna happen. As soon as he does it, iron defense. Awesome. And then the process actually starts from here. So this is where we're gonna do three iron defenses, three nasty plots, and then spam stored power. So there's one iron defense, two iron defense, just like so. And if you have somebody that's running a toxic croak like uh, my good friend ATR over here, uh, yeah. This makes this a lot easier because mud shot drops his accuracy. I haven't gotten hit once. So this is our third iron defense. Now that we've done three iron defenses, he's gonna throw his shield up, which is fine. Okay, we're gonna do three nasty plots now. And you'll notice at this point he does no damage. Whatsoever. So we've done one nasty plot. This is two. Pretty easy. And then we're gonna do our third nasty plot. And you gotta watch everybody's health. If uh, somebody does get low, this is a good time for somebody to use a heal cheer and uh, heal everybody back up so we don't have anybody that dies. Because when somebody dies in a four man online raid, you just lose health. Or not health, you lose time. Just like that. This is why teamwork is so important in these. Okay, Greninja's gonna use double team, that's fine. We've got a psychic terrain out, perfect. And now that we've done that, we're gonna use stored power. And as soon as we use stored power, oh, we're gonna miss, that sucks. As soon as we get a stored power off. There we go, as soon as stored power hits, it does a huge chunk of damage. It's gonna drop off Greninja's shield, just like that. And then all we need to do after that is we do one more stored plot, or stored power, and Greninja is done. Takes a little bit of setup, but as soon as you do it, boom, Greninja's gone. And that's how you do it, chat. That is the perfect, easiest, guaranteed way to take down Greninja multiple times and just make this raid as easy as possible. So get out there and go wreck him.